Welcome to the Appliance Show, Jonathan, the Appliance Dude here at Curdo's in Westchester County. Say hello to my little friend. Ah, that's right. It's that time of the year. It is time to be grilling. A time to be buying your grills to be grilling on. Yes, no matter, even with the weather being nasty here in the Northeast, today it's another like sub 50 degree day. The sales of our outdoor grills are taking off. Yes, the onesies, the Webers, and the Napoleons, the full-on kitchen, outdoor kitchen suites. I've rocked a few of them already. Um, and I think it's very important for me to kick off the season with this grill over here because this is the granddaddy. This is the godfather. This is the DCS, the 36-inch BGBQARN, uh, BGBQ36 ARN, sorry. You know, I do this off the top of my head. It's Jazz Improvised. It's Coltrane, Nitrain. Never, never complain, whatever. Um, we got to start with this guy because this is the original, okay? This is the original. This is the grill that got it all started. You know, when I talk outdoor grills, you have to understand there's a story to be told. There's a narrative. And basically, you have, when you look at the whole scope of outdoor grills, pro outdoor grills here, you have two families. You have two lines of lineage. You have the DCS line. You have the Dynasty line. And every other pro grill flows down from there and is related to them in one way, shape, or another. And that's the God's honest truth, folks. I just brought this bad boy in. I thought it was only right to get the season started on this note since this is the originator. And um, what do I love about this grill? Um, I love the craftsmanship. I love the, uh, the the seamless finishing on it. There's no rough edges. There's no uh, nasty seams on it. You can tell that it was actually created with some semblance of uh, engineering and production uh, acumen. In order to defeat the nefarious flare-ups that you will uh, undoubtedly see eventually on your uh, on your grill, they actually have done they've done something with the grates, which is very ingenious. They've actually they're, they're actually sloped. Um, so they create a runoff, and there's actually a trough that is in the uh, the front of the uh, of the grill right here, and um, that allows the runoff to actually get funneled into it gets channeled basically into a uh, um, um, you know a, a catch space underneath, which you could actually pull out, remove, whatever, clean the things, dishwasher safe, it's all good. Um, but the grates are very interesting because they're double sided. You have a W, they call it the W side, which is actually, that's what creates really nice um, uh, sear marks and actually has the channel, it has a groove in it, which actually will send the grease down. And that's for your, your meats, which are going to obviously create more grease, i.e. the potential for flare-ups. For, for more gentler foods, i.e. Your, your seafood, your, your vegetables, there's another, the, the, the soft side. It's like yin and yang, the hard side, the soft side. Um, and that will actually be better for uh, those types of foods that don't really cause that type of runoff. DCS is the only outdoor grill brand which offers FSS. The acronym stands for Full Surface Searing. Why is this so important? Here it is. My Wolf Grill that I have at home. We have the grates, we have the grill. Then we have an area to the left, which is only for searing. It takes up about 25%, if not more, of the actual grilling surface. Lynx does this as well. Capital does this as well, okay? And I believe Viking does this as well. They all do it as well, okay? But these guys don't. What, what DCS does is, they have actually, they, don't, they say they don't need a dedicated searing station. What they can do is actually, if you've ever seen the movie Spinal Tap, there's a scene where Nigel, the guitar player, actually takes um, Rob Reiner into his, um, um, you know, his, his, his room of equipment and he shows his amplifiers. And he has these special amplifiers which instead of going through from 1 to 10, these amps go to 11 to give you that extra push off the, cl off the cliff, okay? That's what these bad boys do. You have, your, you have your low, you have your medium, you have your high, and then you have, when you really want to get buck-ass wild, you take it up to sear. Every single burner allows for that. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Because what it does is you haven't lost any room on the surface for regular cooking. I don't care what size your grill is. If it's 36, if it's 40, whatever, if it's 50 something, your grill space, okay, is so precious. That's precious, precious real estate, right? It's all about the real estate. So to me, to take away 25, 30% of that and basically say this is really only for searing, to me is nonsense, okay? So this to me is the biggest advantage of the DCS. We can take it up to 11, we can turn the whole thing into a sear station, we can take a part of it and turn it into a sear station, whatever you want to do. There's more flexibility with this and that's just the bottom line. They offer a hex on hex system, so that's basically the rotisserie itself, the spit, 
and this piece over here are both hexagon shaped, okay? What does that mean? That means they go like this and they don't let go, okay? Other grills out there will have the spit will be a hexagon, but the actual piece that the meat clings onto will be a circle. And what that does is it gets loose, your meat can fall off, it actually, this, the thing will keep going around, but the meat won't. It's just not effective. You want a hex on hex system. These guys offer it. The Capital does as well. Very important here, top ported burners. Why is that important? Because if your burners are ported on the sides, what will happen is the flame will cling onto the burner, it will always be in contact with it, and it will degrade it and it will break it down after time. These are top ported, that means the flames are always sticking up as opposed to hugging it, okay? Another interesting point, in the back, when you have gas, the gas runs along the back, when that gas actually hits a bend, what it tends to do is it builds up over there, okay? And what happens then, that means your grill, the back is much hotter than the front. You don't want that. So they actually don't even have any ports in the back. So the gas is just going to flow, it's going to wrap around, and it's going to hit the front again. So it actually, it disperses, it spreads the heat out. It just does it very, very efficiently. The men and women at DCS know how to make burners. Okay, now, as far as the radiance are concerned, what DCS is trying to do here, they are trying to efficiently deliver heat, okay, in a smooth manner across the entire surface, an efficient manner, all right? The ceramic radiance, what you're doing is, this radiance are placed, you have the flame, then you have the ceramic radiance, other people call them briquettes, and then you have your grates. You don't want to cook with the flame, you want to cook with heat. So what the, what the radiance are doing is, they're taking the, they're taking the heat from the flame, absorbing it, and spreading it out in a very even fashion throughout the entire cooking surface. What that is doing is, it is creating an even temperature throughout the entire surface of the barbecue. We like that. We don't like it top heavy in the back. We don't like it heavy in the front. We want things to be even. It's all good. If you're thinking good. about an outdoor kitchen, definitely, definitely, you know, they're in the conversation, Lynx is in the conversation, whatever. Um, but even as a one-off grill, Again, they have a 30, they have a 36, and they have a 40-something. I think it's a 48. It's a 48. Um, that's, that's as big as they go. And they're always running promotions. They're throwing, like, free side burner, free this, free that. I don't even know what the offering is right now, to be honest with you. I think it's a side burner. Um, but uh, I would definitely check DCS out. If you have any questions, please call us over here. Um, email me, jonathanacurtos.com. It's a, it's, a, it's a venerable brand. I mean, you know, you know, they're not really in the conversation on the inside in the kitchen, um, you know, with, DC, uh, with Wolf and, you know, Thermidor and Viking still kind of, you know, kicking tail um, on the inside of the home. But when it comes to the outdoors, DCS is a kingpin. Um, they are a brand to be reckoned with. So. It's a good brand. They have service all over the country. People know about a DCS rock and roll outdoor grilling in effect. Um, so that's about it. Any questions, please email me, jonathanacardos.com. It's all good. Thank you. Peace. Us.